I'm Kristen Majette. I'm the Director of Communications for Eudora Public Schools in Eudora, Kansas. And um, I work with uh, a whole range of programs and award programs, recognition, um, website communications, parent communications, um, and also our social media programs. Well, the expectations of our parents and our students and our patrons um, in terms of how they get information from the schools, um, those expectations are growing all the time. Um, parents especially want information now, they want it quickly, and they want it where they are. Um, so for us, social media was just a natural fit in terms of um, getting the information out about our schools and that was a huge opportunity that we saw um, that we wanted to take advantage of both on the district level but also we felt like there was a huge opportunity for our teachers to meet um, their parents and communicate with their parents in a very efficient um, effective time sensitive um, and inexpensive way in the world where we live, um, our students, particularly as they get older into middle school and high school, and our students' parents, um, the world where they live is dominated by you know all sorts of online learning, online socialization, whether that's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, you know any any variety of of um, websites and social sharing sites, um, and so we really felt like there was a huge opportunity if that's where our um, parents are and that's where our students are this was the place where we could reach them and relate to them and connect and, and engage with them um, that was very natural it's sort of like if you see a row of coffee shops on Main Street and everybody's in the you know the blue coffee shop that's where you go to get your message out and we really felt like that's uh, if that's where people are then that's where we're going to engage with them one of the most um, natural concerns I think is what if um, it becomes a place that's negative, what if there are rumors, what if people are posting um, nasty things about our teachers or things that um, breach confidentiality. Um, you know we obviously have as a school district we have a a responsibility that we treat information about um, our district but particularly about our students and teachers um, with great care and so there were people who were especially concerned that this would become a forum for people to take advantage of that um, and you know that I think also goes to the fact that a lot of the leaders in our district and in districts all over are not an age where they um, necessarily have a lot of personal experience with social media so there's that sort of fear of the unknown as well or what just what they've based on what they've heard um, in the news and for us we really felt like as we as we outlined our procedures and our plans and our policies um, that that was a risk that was worth taking because we really felt like we could mitigate that risk um, through monitoring, through training, um, and through building a, a community that is based on expectations um, that we all share. Um, uh, that you know there is the expectation that the exchanges on our Facebook page, for example, are positive, that they are um, celebrations of what's going right, and that they are respectful disagreements when there are disagreements. Um, so setting up that that community, and we've we've been rewarded very much by taking that risk. Um, it really has. Uh, it's gone the way that we thought it would and uh, you know the the negative comments um, have never taken over you know the the dynamic of our page